Hi guys, it's the Macintosh Guide and I've got an interesting video today. I've got an SSD that I picked up from Amazon. It's from a company called Fang, Fang Zhang. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a one terabyte drive. Um, it's a guitar came a little damaged. Um, I'm going to be installing this onto the Xbox One X and we're going to see how the boot times, the game loading times improve. So guys, sit back relax and enjoy this one now to be able to do this you obviously need an ssd um as i said i've got one terabyte one right here and then you also need a torx 9 head as well uh, you probably can't see it properly on the camera but that is also what you'll need so yeah let's just start opening up. i'm going to move the camera a bit to the left so you guys get a angle of me doing the work so the way you start off is by looking at the xbox at the back you can see there's two screws right here. So we use our Torx and we start opening them up. Now what you'll need to do is you'll need to push the case slightly forward. And then on the right side, that's where the clips are. So you lift it from the left and you go like this and then the case will drop off. A lot of people struggle with this. That's the best way I have found to get rid of the case. Now we're going to be removing 12 screws. I've put the picture up so you guys can see what 12 screws. So pause the video so you know which 12 screws that you need to remove. What you now need to do is you'll need to carefully remove the connector from here, as I've done, as you can see. Then what we'd want you to do is just carefully remove this coming down, as you can see right here, and then use your clipping tool right here to gently pull the cable out, as you can see how I am doing it right here. As you can see, I have now removed the cable right here. As you can see, it was a bit of a fiddly cable, just be careful. And then we flip the console around. Now you need to flip the Xbox over, as I have done right now. And just be careful of all the cables, guys. Very, very important to make sure that you don't get anything trapped anywhere. So what you should now be able to do is just lift and remove the cable and the case completely from the Xbox. And just bear in mind, watch out for any of the cables. Very, very delicate. As you can see, the camera is not doing it justice, but yeah, just very, very delicate. Just be careful of that. And now there's just two more screws that we need to take out. So let's just do that now. And now you should just be able to remove the metal case completely. All we now need to do is just flip the hard drive across like this. And you will see that the hard drive itself is located right here. And sorry, this is the optical drive. All you need to do now is remove the SATA cable and the power cable from the motherboard. You should now be able to just lift up the hard drive and it's all out guys. So let's now focus on what we're gonna do with the hard drive. So now you can see there's four screws that we're gonna to have to take off and then we'll need to remove the SATA cable from the hard drive. And now you get your SSD. So as you can tell, I've got a really nice Fang on it, one terabyte SSD, and we're gonna install this in. And just to give you a bit of a comparison, guys, that's the mobile hard drive, that's the SSD. So now let's just reverse the process and get everything put back in. Now you need to put the SSD back into place and make sure that the power connector is fully in side 
and then you can put the optical drive back in its position as shown here. Now we just need to start putting everything back together on how it was before. So the next step, what you'll need to do is you'll need to download OSU One because ours is an Xbox One X console. The original Xbox One is at the bottom, but for us, we are looking at OSU One file. So you click on it and then it will start to download. So it's a six gigabyte file. You will need it at least an eight gigabyte USB stick um, to be able to use this. And you will also need to format it to NTFS as own, well, and I will show you how to do that shortly. While that is downloading in the background, let's right click on our USB stick. As I mentioned, you need a minimum of at least eight gigabytes. And then when it comes to formatting USB stick, you click on file system and you choose NTFS. And it's very important that you label it as NTFS. Click on start, click OK, and then let it format the USB stick. And just remember, this is going to erase any contents you have on that drive. And then click OK. Now that we've got our file on our desktop right here, you need to right click and extract all, extract, and let the file folder extract. Once it's done, there will be a file inside which we will need to copy and paste across onto our USB. So let's let this finish off. So now that you see this dollar.system update file, all you'll need to do is copy the folder across into our USB stick. And now it's copying over across to our USB. So now that we've got our USB stick, we plug it into the Xbox as I have shown over here. And then we just press the power button and turn the Xbox One on. And you should hopefully start seeing some picture shortly. If you've done everything correctly, you've assembled it correctly. As it says, we've got a error. It's because it doesn't understand the SSD. So what we now need to do is click down and press X. Guys, I was meant to say A button, not the X button. I am too used to using the PlayStation controller sometimes, but please press A, do not press X. And then you'll see an offline system update option being available, as you can see here. So you click A on it, and it will start preparing the console. And let this happen, guys, let it do its thing. Um, it's gonna start updating the software on the console. So this will take at least 15, 20 minutes, depending on uh, everything. As you probably see now, the console itself is now turned on and we can add a user, we can skip the sign in for now and we can see we are now into the Xbox system. And that's it guys, it's as simple as that. That's how you upgrade your Xbox One X from a standard hard drive that it comes with to a SSD. So guys, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.